Good morning, I'm Tracy. And I'm Lauren. We are your wonderful Wednesday ABE TV anchors. Today is May 29th and it's a D4 day for special area classes. It's also the last, last day of school. school. Unfortunately, there is no recycling today. The bin outside is too full for any more paper. All library books should be turned into the library. We want you to be able to check out books at the public library and our library. Thanks, stars. If you find a lost book over the summer, you can turn it in to any NDPL library branch. While you are there, you can check out more books and read them for the NDPL program and Susan Jordan summer reading program. You can get points and minutes for both programs from the same books. Keep your brain growing over the summer by reading 30 minutes a day. We will play a special video after the pledge. We have some summer safety tips for you. First, be sun smart. Wear sunscreen, sunglasses, and a hat. Second, if you're on wheels, wear a helmet to protect your brain. Third, never swim without a lifeguard or adult. Use the buddy system and swim with a friend. Last but not least, be sure your parents or babysitter know where you are. Never go somewhere without permission. Have, Have a, a safe, safe summer, summer, stars! Today's birthday star is Harrison New. Go down to the office after the pledge to get a hug, handshake, or high five from Mr. Pennington. Happy birthday. Today's lunch will be chicken and noodles with a roll or an oven fried steak sandwich. Our sides will inclu include green beans, mashed potatoes, and baby carrot sticks. Sounds, Sounds delicious. delicious. I'm ready for my fun funny bone to get tickled. What have you got? Why did the cabbage win the race? I don't know. Why? Because it was a head. Our time's up. We'll sing the one and only Amy Beverly school song after the pledge. It's a blast from the past. See how many sixth graders you recognize. After that, we'll hear from our star graduates. Now on to Mrs. Richmond's fourth graders to lead the pledge. Cameras on you, stars. Good morning, ABE star leaders. I failed to give a shout out to somebody earlier this week. I want to give a shout out to Julian. Um, and Julian placed first in his division at the Geist 5K, so congratulations, Julian. Also, I want to say a big thank you. Thank you to all of the STAR staff and students for their hard work this school year. The year has flown by. We've had a lot of great memories. We've had our ups and downs, but we stuck together and we made it through. Also, at the conclusion of the day, as no surprise to you, it is the last day of school and you will be off for the summer. In case that you don't hear anyone else say this to you this summer, I want you to hear it from your principal that I love you. Have a wonderful summer, enjoy your time with family and friends, and make it the best summer you can. You're Amy Beverly and Stars, you're brave, brilliant, beautiful, and I believe in you. Now to our pledge leaders. Hi, my name is Fawad. Hi, my name is Claire. Hi, my name is Aaron. Hi, my name is Quentin. Hi, my name's Eli. Brooklyn. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Hi, my name's Olivia, and after I graduate, I'm going to Ball State to major in biology. Hi, my name is Izzy, and after graduation, I'm going to University of Alabama to major in biology. Hi, my name is Josiah. I'm going to IUPUI to major in mechanical engineering and minor in business. Hi, my name is Miranda. I'm attending Indiana University to major in biology, human biology with a minor in business. Hi, my name is Zoe and I'm going to Ball State to major in elementary education. Hello, my name is Dale Brantley. I'm going to IU to become a, a camera operator slash um, director. Hi, my name is Brittany Bowman. I'm going to University of Tampa to major in biology, and my favorite memory from Amy Beverlin is the penny shop in Miss Colbert's class. Hi, my name's Ari, and I'm going to Ole Miss next year to major in marketing and communications, and my favorite memory is doing the cup song in Miss Sellers' class. Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to Butler to study health science, and my favorite memory is doing the cup song for the talent show in Miss Sellers' class. Hi, my name is Abby. I'm going to Butler University next year to study biology, and my favorite memory is the fall festival. Hi, my name is Katie, and I'm going to IU next year to study neuroscience, and my favorite memory is Junkanoo. Hi, my name is Shelby. I'm going to Indiana University to study vocal performance and musical theater with a minor in business. And my favorite memory was the Fall Fest. Hi, my name is Claire Foley. I'm going to the University of Cincinnati and I am majoring in communications. Hi, my name is Megan Rodriguez. I'm going to Case Western Reserve University to study nursing. Hi, my name is Alex Fletcher Griffith, and I'm going to IU to study chemistry. Hi, my name is Naomi Minnick. Next year, I'm going to DePaul University to study econ and to swim. And my favorite memory at Amy Beverlin is doing Rube Goldberg's in Miss Bow's fifth grade class. Hi, my name is Michaela Stevens. I'm going to Indiana University to major in biology. My name is Nolan Oaks, and I'm going to Indiana University to major in business management and sustainable business. My name is Shayla Jones, and I'm going to Purdue University to study pre-chiropractic. My name is Kylie Shaw. I'm going to DePaul to major in biology, and my favorite memory is playing Foursquare every day at recess. Hi, my name's Sarah. I'm going to the University of Guelph in Ontario, and I'm studying psychology. And my favorite memory was Junkanoo and the big camera. Hi, my name's Molly. I'm going to Virginia Commonwealth University, and my favorite memory was also the big camel. Hi, guys. My name's Cameron Hawk. I'm going to go to DePaul University to play baseball and study economics, and my favorite memory was field day. Hi, my name's Jess. I'm going to Trine University to play softball and study pre-physical therapy. Hi, my name's Adia Mims. I'm going to Butler University to major in biology and minor in theater arts. And one of my favorite memories from Amy Beverlin is doing the production of Moby Dick in Miss Bow's class. Hi, my name's Jay Bilyeu. I'm going to IU to study biology. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Molly. Our and future's, future's so bright, we, we gotta, gotta wear shades. shades. <laughs> what do you call a cow with no legs? Um, unable to move. Calling our readers. Summer is just around the corner. We have some exciting news. The Susan Jordan Summer Reading Challenge is about to begin. Wait, why is it named after Miss Jordan? She was the principal at Amy Beverly for over 20 years. She loved reading and always reminded everyone to read 30 minutes a day, even in the summer. Reading makes her brain so much smarter. I can see why she loved reading. I love reading because I can travel to different places and times without ever leaving home. Reading is an adventure.
kids all over Lawrence Township will be reading lots of books this summer and tracking their reading minutes. But I'm doing the NDPL summer reading program. No problem. You can read books and count them for both programs. No way. Just write down the minutes you spend reading on this handy calendar. So I can win fun prizes from NDPL and collect minutes for this summer reading challenge? That's what I call a win-win. You'll love this. Students who complete the requirements for the reading challenge will be enjoying an ice cream treat at school in August. Cool treats aren't the only prize for our readers. The top three readers in each age division at your school will have a special lunch with their principal. The top reader in each age group in the entire district will be honored at a school board meeting. Tell me more about how the summer reading challenge works. Here are all the details on what it takes to become one of these reader leaders. Kindergarten and first graders will need to read at least 240 minutes each month. That's 10 minutes a day. Second through fifth graders will need to read at least 480 minutes a month or 15 minutes a day. All students must do a written response at least for at least two of their books and mark their minutes on the reading calendar. That's not all. Lexia, eBooks, and Raz Kids minutes can also help you become a reader leader. Your teacher will be sending these calendars and response sheets home soon. Fill them out as you read over the summer and turn them into your teacher when school starts. Wow, summer reading is so awesome. Prizes, treats, medals, and best of all, growing my brain by reading great books. If you don't believe us, just listen to what our superintendent, Dr. Smith, has to say. Hello, boys and girls. It's Dr. Smith, superintendent of schools. And hey, I want to remind you guys about a great summer reading program, and I want to make sure that each and every one of you are participating because for the top readers, we've got special things prepared for you. And I want you to be at a special board meeting with me to recognize you for reading over the summer. You know what I'm going to be doing this summer, boys and girls? I'm going to be reading. So why don't you join me? Thanks, Dr. Smith. LT students, make sure you get your hands on those calendars and response sheets. Then visit NDPL to get some good books. Get set for some amazing reading adventures.